Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today's video is actually a refilm. So, funny story. <laughs> I was filming yesterday, which was Monday. I filmed the entire video. I got a new mic because I know that my last videos, the audio was a little bit off. I knew that I had to get a new mic. Anyway, so me being me, I thought I got everything right and I didn't test my mic and the audio was horrible so yeah that was fun so here we are again <laughs> filming the video that you are watching today i am going to be sharing with you my sephora vib haul i picked up just very small amount of products that just really caught my eye from the sephora sale i think it ended yesterday when you're watching this video which is today for me but I just picked up a few items so I'm going to share with you what I picked up and we're also going to be trying them out now because this isn't a first impressions anymore I'm actually going to just review them for you and give you my thoughts I picked up the new Kat Von D foundation um, some Huda Beauty products and also Artist Couture so yeah just a little bit of high-end stuff which is not typical for my channel if you enjoy drugstore videos make sure to subscribe because I do tons of content like that so yeah I'm excited to jump into this video again <laughs> grab your cafecito and let's go ahead and start with this haul slash review slash try on test first things first I'm going to show you everything that I got Everything is already unboxed, so don't mind that. Um, but either way, I didn't end up getting too many products because I just, I don't know, I wasn't feeling anything besides this. So the first thing that I picked up was the Rare Beauty, what is this called? The Pore Diffusing Primer. This one is supposed to fill in the pores, make them look super smooth, and just make the skin look super soft and diffused. Since I did use this yesterday, I actually really liked it. It made my skin feel and look really soft for the small one, but honestly, it looks really good on the skin. So if you have large pores or oily skin, I do like this one. The next product that I picked up is the Kat Von D foundation. This has gone viral on TikTok, on Instagram, on YouTube. It was literally sold out everywhere. I went to so many Ulta's, Sephora's, and almost all the shades are sold out as well as online. I was lucky enough to get one shade and I feel like the shade matches me pretty good. This is the Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm in the shade Medium 048. The packaging is super cute. It's just like a plastic. It's transparent. Because I wore this foundation all day yesterday, I am going to say that this is a really good foundation if you have combination skin if you have a really oily t-zone i don't think you're going to love this my skin right now is combination it's a little bit oily in the t-zone and the rest of my face it's pretty normal it's very full coverage so if you suffer from a lot of like acne marks rosacea if you have a lot of blemishes that you want to cover up this foundation is going to be your new Go to it's just full coverage at once you don't need to go back and reapply it because it just gives you so much full coverage and it does have a natural dewy finish which i personally really liked i did find however that this isn't very mask friendly yesterday when i was testing it out i went shopping and i had a mask on uh i have a six month old he's constantly touching my face and I did notice that around the nose and again around the sides like the lower part of the face where the mask usually sits it definitely wore off on me and I had it on for about six or seven hours so if you're planning to wear this for a long extended period of time I do suggest for you to set it with some sort of powder or if you're oily to just take the extra steps to mattify the skin because um, it didn't hold up on me very well but the formula itself is really dope like I really like it I'm going to keep using it and if you are my foundation twin 
definitely let me know in the comments down below how you like this foundation and if you're going to pick it up or if you've been using it what are your thoughts because this is going to be my second time trying it but I really like it so far. Next up, I picked up the brand new Patrick Ta for Face She's Sculpted Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo. Honestly, this is a brand that I never like really gravitate towards, but his products nonetheless are really good. And I decided to buy this because I was like, why not something a little bit bougie so i'm gonna show you guys how i use this the cream contour is really nice the only thing that i have to say is that it can get a little bit muddy on the skin if you're not careful and yesterday i actually ended up applying this with my once i already had set the face which was not very smart of me so what i'm gonna do is i'm just going to use this for the cheekbones only just to sculpt out the skin, which is obviously what it's meant to do. And then the bronzer, you go in and bronze the skin. So if you love to cream contour and then go in with a the powder, then you're really gonna like this. I'm gonna take some to the chin or the jawline just to carve it out a little bit. And for the forehead and everything else, I am just going to use the bronzer it's really creamy so it blends out really really nicely it's just going to bring out the cheekbones and really make them pop so because this foundation does need to be set in order for it to like really stay in place i am just going to use a little bit of my laura mercier powder in the shade honey i've been really liking this powder to set the skin and I'm just going to like lightly press it against the skin. Now that I've done that, I'm going to go back with the Patrick Ta. And I do like that it comes with this little like case. So it protects the cream contour, which is really nice. I am going to use a fluffy little brush. This is the one that I've been using for bronzing. And I'm just going to bronze up the skin as you can see like it immediately gives you this really pretty sun-kissed look and I do have different shades so if you are interested in picking up a shade for you and if you're lighter or darker skin they do have other colors that you can choose from his quality is really nice he's a makeup artist if you don't know who he is um, and he just does an awesome job at doing makeup oh my gosh I'm going to go in with the bronzer and I'm just going to bronze up the cheekbones. This is the perfect color of bronzer. I love it so much. I forgot to show you guys on camera, but I'm going to apply a little bit more. I also picked up the new Love Sprung Artist Couture Trio Blush Palette. I've never tried any of his uh, like blushes before, so I really wanted to try something else besides his lipsticks and his eyeshadows. So this one is a three blush palette. Like I said, it comes with two matte shades and one shimmer. The first one is called Infatuated, and it's a beautiful like burnt coral peach. It's the one that I'm wearing underneath. It's really, really pretty, and I think it's perfect for medium to tan skin. The middle shade is called angel energy and this one is more of a it's pretty similar to that second shade but it has the beautiful highlight which I'm not very into but I'm going to use it just for the fun of it and then lotus love is the last one this is a color that I would never gravitate towards but I think for summer it's going to look so pretty on the cheeks so I'm going to show you again what it looks like I'm going to take a little bit of the infatuated these are really pigmented like super pigmented so i do suggest to just pick up a little bit at a time and i'm just going to apply that to the cheeks this gives you such a pretty like flush of color oh i love this formula we're gonna move on to the last products that I have to review and haul for you guys. Uh, so Huda Beauty recently released new eyeshadow palettes. I really like her eyeshadow palettes. I think the quality is like really good, top notch. I mean, for what she 
charges for her palettes. I personally think they are worth it, but I tend to gravitate more towards her smaller palettes just because her bigger palettes are very pricey and I find myself not reaching for them enough, enough for me to spend like $65. So I did pick up one palette. This is the Chocolate Brown obsessions palette these are so cute and it matches my shirt <laughs> she has other ones and this one is one that just really stood out to me the most i'm going to recreate the look that i already created i also picked up her new lipstick and lip liner so these are the cream lipsticks this one is in the shade moneymaker packaging she always gets a 10 plus in my book it's very cute it's like a not ombre but to this one it's more like a jelly finish if that makes sense the formula oh my gosh is so good you guys will see when i apply it on the lips and then i picked up one of her new lip liners i believe she already had lip liners in the past but she released them um, with these lipsticks this is the lip contour 2.0 in the shade rich brown it is definitely that a rich brown it is stunning it is creamy it is velvety it is smooth it's so Good. So I've already primed my lids and we're going to go ahead and start with the eye tutorial. I don't necessarily want this to be an eye tutorial. I just want this to be a review and a wear test. So the first shade that I'm going to go in with is this really soft, it's like a cream peachy nude. And I'm going to take that into the crease. Next, I'm going to pick up a brush from ColourPop. This is the E19. And I'm going to take this shade right here, which is a really pretty like deep sienna shade. And that one's going to go into the crease. As you can see, there's so much pigment right off the bat. If you want to see like a full face of Huda Beauty, like a one brand tutorial, I will have a card up here. I've done that in the past. I did only, I did a full face using only her makeup and honestly, I was not disappointed. So I will have that up there after this video. You can go ahead and watch it if you're into that. So as you can see, the colors are like blending really nicely to each other. The last color that I'm going to take from the palette is the deepest shade. Now this one has a really pretty like purpley dark brown undertone. I mean, it goes with the name chocolate brown. So I'm going to take that on a smaller little brush and I'm just going to create a halo eye. So I'm taking that into the inner corner as well. For the center, I'm actually going to mix these two. This one is absolutely gorgeous, but it's definitely a very deep shade. I'm going to swatch it for you guys. Perfect for like a night out with your husband, with your girlfriends. If you just want to do something like super smoky, that is the shade that you would want to go for. And the one that I just swatched is the one right next to it. So I'm going to use these two because these are the lightest ones in the palette. And they're really pretty. I do have to say though that I do recommend for you to use either a glitter glue or something like this. This is a mixing liquid from Mario. It's just really going to help to adhere the products onto the skin. So, And that is it for the eyes. This is a tutorial using the new Huda Chocolate Brown Palette. Definitely let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I'm going to go ahead and finish off the eyes off camera. I will list everything that I used off camera. So if you're interested in like the eyeliner and the eyelashes, um, just check the description box and I will be back so we can apply the lipstick. All right, the eyes are done. I went ahead and did a little bit of a wing liner. It's brown. I added some brown eyeliner for my lashes. I'm using my own lashes. If you guys want to shop my lash brand, these are in the style workflow. They're super affordable, super cute, very like work appropriate, hence the name workflow. I have a little like a uh, shop tag or a little link to my description if you guys want to support me and my small business i would totally appreciate that so to end this video i am going to show you this lip liner and lipstick i'm going to go ahead and line the lips and then we're going to go in and fill it in with this now that we've blended that in we're going to go in with the lipstick you guys are going to see how beautiful this formula is i definitely need to pick up a few different shades because mm, i was so impressed Look at how pretty the finish is. Very glossy. It's so comfortable on the lips. Obviously, with lipsticks like these, like don't expect them to have a long wear time because they're lipsticks, they're going to transfer. But the formula is just it for me. 
And there you have it. This is a full face-ish using the products that I just bought from Sephora. These are products that I picked up from the VIB sale. I would love to know if you guys bought anything. And also, what was your favorite product that I tried out today? Honestly, like my personal favorite has to be the lipstick combo. Like I love and live for a good nude brown lip liner and lipstick so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i hope i spiced it up a little bit for you guys it was a little bit different than my typical like hauls i just wanted to really show you guys these products in action that is it for me thank you so much for being here i love you all stay safe stay blessed and until next time i will see you all in my next video bye